The Uyi Mountains have a typical subtropical monsoon climate. It is always mild and rainy in spring. Now that the rain stops and the sky is clear, a male Elliot's pheasant speeds up to look for food. Stems and leaves of the China milk vetch and the spike moss are its favorite food. The jute leaf raspberry on the high branches is also within its reach. The family just welcomed several new members. As a father, it has to find territories with enough food to offer. Five Elliot pheasant chicks go out with their mother looking for food. The Elliot's pheasant species generally practices polygamy. They breed only once a year. The mother takes meticulous care of their chicks. Still new to the world, the chicks are curious about everything, which makes their mother more worried staying vigilant for the sign of trouble. Being endemic to China, the Elliot's pheasant is a first-class state-protected animal. The mature male bird has the back of the neck in taupe. Both sides of the neck manifest grayish-white with metallic luster on the back. The female bird is brown on the whole body. Its throat is dotted with black spots. Pheasants are one of the ancestors of modern poultry. In 1873, Frenchman Armand David went to Shangyan County at the foot of the Uyi Mountains and spotted some Elliot's pheasants. In 1874, the living pheasant was first introduced by David to Europe. Both the Natural History Museum in London and the American Museum of Natural History have so far preserved the specimen of the Elliot's pheasant. In China, however, it was not until the 1980s that the research of the bird had gradually commenced. As spring comes to the Uyi Mountains, everything revives with a promising prospect. An unexpected shower brings vibrancy to the whole forest. The dusk after raining sees the most dynamic party of birds. The Chinese bamboo partridge and the red-billed blue magpie are frequenters of the wetland, although the Elliot's pheasant sees them as aggressive competitors for food. These fast-growing fledglings need to feed six to seven times a day, which means their busy mothers have much more jobs to do. Suddenly, an unexpected guest trespasses on the territory of the Elliot's pheasant family. A squirrel covets their delicious food stock. In order to save the dinner for their chicks, the female birds will not compromise. Mothers have taught the chicks well. In several months, they will leave their mother's protection and face the world on their own. The foraging birds fly back to the nests. The father has found another turf with abundant food. He can't wait to bring the news back home before sunset. Thank you. 